This podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp. Now, if you're a Genius Brain listener, you know I've talked about BetterHelp a lot, and you've heard it on many podcasts, but I am somebody who actually does use BetterHelp whenever I need somebody to talk to. Listen, I've worked on my mental health for many years now, and BetterHelp has been by my side because whenever I need to access my therapist, BetterHelp allows me to access him whenever I need. And I gotta tell you, I don't like in-person therapy as much because I like doing things from the comfort of my home. I'm super busy, and instead of having to set a time a day to drive, I don't know, like an hour or so to a therapist and then drive all the way back in traffic, I have the power in my hands. I can do it all online. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. So, if you want to be like me and you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Genius today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Genius. I don't Wait, what was it? What was the Equinox? So saying? Equinox said that they don't believe in January workout people. So essentially what they're saying is they're not going to accept any new memberships in January, Whoa. which... For me, it doesn't make sense, number one, marketing-wise, stupid. Yeah. Because just for a business sense, right, you want to take new memberships. The biggest month. From people who won't work out at your gym because your gym will stay at full capacity, but you'll still rack in more dollars than what you can contain. It's like the Planet Fitness model. Dude, that's going to be a crazy Nuts be feeling hot. (laughs) (laughs) In five, four, three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. We already started drinking and Pat hasn't jacked off in a whole 16 days. Dude, 16 days, baby. My man is abstinent. His balls are heavy. Knees weak, arms oh, spaghetti. Yeah. spaghetti. That's how the lyrics go, dude, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Balls that's are heavy. It. Knees weak, arms spaghetti. Arms spaghetti, yes, balls right. heavy, hot, hot balls. Hot. So <laughs> why'd you like... stop jacking off? <laughs> so I, I need to... <laughs> so why'd you stop jacking off? Bro. Everybody wants to know. I needed to take a break, dude. Yeah. And honestly, I didn't like the fact that I, I like... I wanted... It was like a discipline thing. I, I wanted the discipline of being able to be like, yo, don't jerk off for 30 days and then actually not doing it. Because I before told You've myself... you said it out loud. I've said it... Huh? You said it out loud before to yeah, yourself. I've said, yeah, I've been like, I'm not going to jerk off 30 days. And then 30 minutes later, I was jerking off. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> so, I'm a bad person. So now it's like, fuck that. So I got some people on board, some guys that I work with. And so now I made it a competitive thing. And that's what's actually helping me. Oh, the what's, what's, knowing- what's the stakes? The trade-off is that he becomes an abusive father. <laughs> yeah, just, he's just mad at everybody. You just have a road rage incident. Shut the fuck up. Daddy hasn't jacked off in 11 days. You know how hard this is? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, man. That's so funny. Yeah, that's that's my balls are heavy. They are heavy. They're heavy. But you know, hey, man. Fuck it. You know, I'm being a bad dad. But well, what's but the stakes chill. though? What's the stakes? The stakes are, they're, well, we all put 20 bucks in, but it's really Cut. just a shame thing. Oh, yeah. I would have just like immediately. <laughs> yeah. If, 20 bucks? <laughs> dude, easy. Easy. if you're going to go out though, you might as well go out on day one. You know what 100%. I mean? That's what I was thinking. I get, once I got past day one, I was like, all right, that was the time to quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, what the fuck? Am, I'm That's the hardest day, day, day one. Let day me ask one. you this though. For both of you, how often do you jack off to the point where it's like, okay, maybe I shouldn't jack off so much? I was jacking off like, once a day at least, dude. Mm. Is that pretty average? Starts a day. I feel like a lot of dudes, that's pretty average. I think it depends, bro. Sometimes like you get you get stuck where you're like busy and, and like doing stuff and then sometimes you forget to jerk off. See, that's like, why not, you are a quitter. If I'm not home, <laughs> if I'm not home a lot, I don't jack off. Yeah. If, if, well, that, I well, hope, okay, I hope course, not. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Listen, listen hey. if I'm at the grocery store, sometimes I'm like, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Those <laughs> melons look great. <laughs> look at that well out in the bathroom. bathroom. Obvious statement. Listen, if I'm not at home, I don't jerk I'm off. Jack it off. Hey, but you know that there's some people out there that like jack off in random places. I hope yeah, that's that, not you, though. That's that, not. Uh, come yeah, on, bro. You do you think I am a crazy person? Maybe. I don't know. But sometimes when when the when the moment hits you, it hits you. So and you got to fucking when eat I was that a, meat. When I was a kid, I used to, uh, I was working at my parents' store. And you know, you're young. Yeah. And your dick just be getting hard for no oh, reason. no reason. So hard. occasionally, Poor. a Bricked fine up. ass <laughs> fucking lady would walk through. Mm-hmm. She would ask for some products. I would be like, excuse me, it's in the back. 
I would jack off so furiously in the back so I could focus. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Because clearly she's trying to flirt with me to steal some shit. You got to recenter your chin. And we would get <laughs> so much stuff stolen. Because <laughs> you're the bathroom jerk Because I couldn't focus. But yeah, see, that's yeah. like a righteous jerk off. That's like a jerk off to get your chakras in line and mm -hmm. like to be focused. That's the start the day. I'm trying to be better at my job. So I need to <laughs> bust this fucking nut. You know what I mean? That's you're doing it for the, for the community. Yeah, you know? yeah, what is yeah. the biggest change that you good. feel? I feel what I like is the discipline muscle. So like what I've noticed is by just constantly being like, no, don't do that. When I feel the urge to do it, it that transfers over to other areas of my life. So like if I'm being lazy about like folding, doing the laundry, for example, that's just a small example. And I'll be like, I'll do it in an hour. It's like, no, nah, I just fucking do it right now. Yeah. So I can quickly, oh. I can quickly access that, like override the laziness or, or aspect of being like trying to push things away. I can just override that real quick because I'm already working that muscle out. Mm. So I'm kind of in the mode to be like, no, nah, I'm just going to fucking do it. That's, tight. that's, that's the hack. thing I like a lot. And then also too, I'm not wasting as much time. Beating oh, my right. dick. You, you beat off for a fucking long ass I'm time. I'm a scrapbooker. <laughs> that's, yeah, right. that's right. I forgot about what I was like, how long does that take? Oh, it that's takes right. This motherfucker writing prose and poetry. And I, get it. <laughs> I have a menu, dude. It's coursed out. Yeah, yeah, I got a course out tasting. Call me a moose bitch. <laughs> I will watch xvideos.com. <laughs> that is my that voice. That is my moose bouche. Moose bouche. <laughs> for the appetizer, a little porn hub. And then I'll go into Japanese porn for the main course. <laughs> <laughs> a little fluff, a little squeaky. I enjoy it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So I, you, what a gentleman, dude. Oh, you know. <laughs> and then, you know, and then I said, Knox for gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> so Oxford. I was doing fine dining, jerking off. And then I realized like, dude, Pack I started thinking style, about baby. how much time I was literally just like, you're just a monkey. That's like, woo, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, but you and prime I started in the nervous up, system. You know? Yeah, no, it, it, there's nothing wrong with it, but like I started adding up the time, and I was like, "What's the, right, what's like, the total duration?" Chill. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes it depends. But you said you added up the time. What's no, the I mean like, like look, so sometimes thirty minutes. Like if, if you do thirty Damn. minutes, yeah, like or like forty five. But minutes. that nut was good though. Hey, huh? it was, it was like, <laughs> it was like, it was like this. <laughs> Dude, Patrick's grabbing sheets. Like, oh fuck, <laughs> <laughs> my man grabbed the sheets with his oh, tongue. Oh, God. God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty hey. seat and a half for this thing, <laughs> bro. It really was like that, <laughs> dude. It was like my soul would leave my body a little bit, you know. Dude, Don, I've never back. jacked off for forty five fucking minutes. You should try it. If I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you made the case, bro. At hey, first, man. I was. I'm like, dude, that's not productive. But I think you made the case. You I should. Think hey, I want to fucking wine and dine myself. If yo. you got forty five minutes to spare. Yeah. And you want to <laughs> yeah, yeah. treat yourself? <laughs> so little, I don't know what to do in 45 minutes. It's pretty quick. Yeah. It's like the image is there. I got it. I whack it off and I'm done and I could focus. Yeah, you're proficient. <laughs> yeah, you're in a fit. You're, yeah, you're, you're a, a, like you do but it what, for utility. But what the I mean? fuck takes 45 fucking minutes? Though? The curation, bro. No, it's not the cure. Duh. No, no, it's just, it's just, it's what it is. Is like, so this is what you do. This is what you do. Okay, you I feel add. like we've been through this, but I'm gonna. I don't just, think we've detailed I'm, the detail. I'm gonna give a little uh, synopsis. Not, not this. Deep. A quick little brief. So I, I told you guys about the mouge bouge. I, I do the, I do the, I do, I do the, I do the, I do the tiered thing, right? Mm -hmm. I do the openers, like those are the the appetizers, some main courses, and then you get the finishers. You could tell right off the bat sometimes where there's like a a, a video where it's like that's a finisher. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you and save then you it. put the tab and you move it over. To the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, these are finishers. I lop those off. So I kind of like get. I work my right way up to the can, finishers. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Before you go, like, go. what what are some qualities of a video that constitutes a finisher? It's not so much about the video. It's about the, it, honestly, the girl, like, it, it, there's, you know, porn stars that I fancy more than yeah, others. Yeah. You know, you got a fat old booty. I'm interested. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah. that, you know? And that's like, okay, finish your pile. Also, too, angles. Sometimes the camera work, like, some camera work is whack or whatever. And I'm when like, show oh, the dude's asshole hey, or, can I just say no, this I real like quick? <laughs> <laughs> For every porn director out there, nobody needs the underside ball shot. I don't need to see the, the underside, underside ball yeah, shot. Yeah, that's a rough one. Nobody likes that. How would you Nobody. shoot that? How would you? I, I well, feel like it's literally a guy. This, these yeah. are balls, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally yeah. a guy yeah. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, how would you do it better ball though? Sweat, ball sweat dripping on his face. How do you, how do, you do that <laughs> shot better? <laughs> Not him wiping his eyes. <laughs> He's like, dog. <laughs> they, got, they have to Shut delete the this audio. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why they got the boom mic guy. He's got goggles on. He's got goggles on. Oh god, my back. <laughs> dude, you know what's worse is sometimes they get avant garde and then they want to they want to show the dude's face when he's coming. Dog. Nah, what is second that? Worst thing ever. It's you see second. the second. <laughs> I argue that's the first, bro. No. Well, they're both the pretty ball bad. shot is the worst. It's yeah. like this girl's getting smashed from the back and you enjoy it. Like that's fucking nice. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> you see. I'm like that's nice. <laughs> that right there. That's, 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 that's good. That's yeah. good. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> all of a sudden, you see this fucking Romanian coin sack just going yeah. back, <laughs> back and forth for a couple of shekels. Just yeah. going back and, and forth. And always got his foot all the way up. Bro. Exactly. Uh, all the way Both up, feet dude. on the wall. Like a, like a spider, dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's defying the laws of physics, dude. And then it's at the impressive. end, <laughs> yeah, it's right actually dope. when it's getting to the best part, it goes to his face. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the? Fuck that's, that. that's the guy from ah, Eastern European. Yeah, yeah. He's Eastern what Europe. is that? I've literally been like at the point where I was about to come and then they pan to the guy's face and now I'm coming yeah. but laughing yeah. at this guy's face. Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. oh, and I'm like, now I'm coming to this Just guy's face. Just blur the dude's you guys face. guys are not together though. Why are you guys doing that to me? He's in sync. Now I'm sexually face. confused. <laughs> blur you his just face. need to blur his face. Don't show me his face. A majority of porn consumers are men. Blur the fucking face. Dude, like 95% for sure. Don't show me the face. Ever. Yeah. Don't want to see his face. How long for you? Dude, quick, bro. Like maybe five minutes tops. In and out. Same here. The thing is, is like, I wish I, I can do that too. But the thing is, is it feels so much better when you prolong it for a yeah. little bit. It I just, bet, the, like the nut is, I'm telling you, it's better. It's We're missing, it I'm missing out because honestly, I can't imagine jacking off for 45 minutes. I know your web browser tab is all dots. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's a you lot can't of even it's see like the name. Big. You can't even see the fucking name. You're like, it's which just, one is this one? You just have to guess in the middle which one it you is. You gotta be really I, organized. One. No, yeah. no, I have a whiteboard and I have like the minute marks. I'd be like 32, <laughs> yeah. two, three. I'd the like, red lines that attach like, to the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start here, then we're doing. Yeah, studies, it's like a crime bro. scene. It's like yeah, True yeah. Detective season one, but with just a fat ass in the middle of the bubble and like all the connecting dots. How do we get back to the finisher? The finish. So, what's like an opening course? What would you constitute an opening course? video like i said it just it it doesn't it's not necessarily like a genre or type or anything it just depends on like it's okay so what is it mostly so so it's like this is what i'm saying like it's it's something where i'm like kind of interested like a little interested Mm. like i'm not like i'm not i know that like i'm not super in on that i could i could skip it yeah but there's something about it that caught my eye like whether it's like the girl (laughs) the scenario (laughs) good thumbnail good Good presentation (laughs) you could tell like the guys that they're good writing you know they put good work into it the music is not Yes, the, the great dialogue. <laughs> well, I never had a black cock in me me free. <laughs> yeah, whoa, dude. Well, you ain't never had a black cock before? Yeah, my husband's white. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't fill me in like you can. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where I go, like, this is damn good writing. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Oh my like, God. I love this. This is great. I can connect to this instantly. This yeah. is cinema. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I just want them to stop talking. I'm like, don't talk. Don't yeah, no, the talking is fucking terrible. But yeah. you know, yeah, so something I'm slightly interested. And then the next year is something where I'm like, okay, it could be. It could be, but it's lacking yeah. a couple things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lacking a couple. And yeah. then the finishers are just the finishers, man. What is your what is your current top porn search right now? Well, right now I'm not searching any porn. But the thing is, is I honestly I, I tried to trick him and he got me with like, you. Come fucker. on, dog. I'm not I'm <laughs> sh- We're sh- abstinent, dog. Sh- no but no busting, baby. Damn, dude, I was so close. Backed up, baby. <laughs> Backed up. Um, yeah, no, nothing right now. Right now, I'm just trying to like, I, I'm just like for the most part, like I said, it's cool. But there's every once in a while where I'm that's like, tight that you're doing done. it though, and you're and you're like, yo, I feel better. You feel not better, but like you feel like you get a lot more done. You're more productive. That's tight. There's times where I'm just bored and stressed. And I'm like, I just want to. I should just nut, and I'll feel way better though. But I feel like that's what most people do, right? Is they just fucking beat off. Yeah. Well, like I mean, they're it's feeling easy. stressed and they're just like at home. I feel like I could do probably easy. Honestly, no jack off. Two weeks, pretty easy. Oh, bro. I the, think I could do that. <clears> two weeks too. for sure, easy. If as long as I just jog half a mile, your boy pretty tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted. Legs <laughs> weak. <laughs> yeah. Balls are heavy. I'll tell you this straight up. When I was first losing weight, I was sore all the time. And then one time, Mario looked over at me. She goes, "You don't want to have sex?" And I looked at her. I was like, "I'm." <laughs> I'm so sore. It hurts. Like yeah. I, sex is the last thing I'm thinking about. Yeah. I'm just exhausted. When I look at her, I'm horny. Like I'm like, yeah. 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 That's your horny face? Yes. Yes. Uh, so you, you didn't you didn't yes. do the D? Giving me sex. 
And then I would reach over and give me a six. Turn an Italian man. And then yeah, I yeah, yeah. touch her head wine. like this. And then she goes, yes. And I go, me a tired. <laughs> in, in Italian. <laughs> Abundanza. <laughs> Luigi's a little tired. I had a too much of mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> and I just turn over and I just can't do it. I yeah. can't perform. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Like I've been my tiredness overpowers my horniness. I feel like when there. things hit you though, they hit you hard. Bro. Yeah. He's one of those dudes, like he'll have like 20 milligrams of caffeine and he's fucking out. Mm. He, he can't go to sleep and shit. That's what happened to me yesterday. I slept at 4 a.m. Had a nice a. double shot of espresso. At what time? Like 2 p.m. Bad move. Damn. Yeah, that's rough. That'll Bad get you, bro. But that's crazy. That it didn't wear off from 2, 2 p.m. That's a long time. No, it's, if I have caffeine, anything past like 8 a.m., pretty much fucked. 8 a.m.? I'm pretty much fucked. So you don't drink coffee? What, what time do you wake up? I you? drink uh, this thing called Jumdi Matcha. The hey. best matcha brand that you have ever had in your life. It has something called L-theanine. And it manages, it, it manages your caffeine. And <laughs> <laughs> it takes the jitters what out. What was that word, dude? And then it's like, I'm not scared of Yeah. Híjole. Dude, that's a melatine. It's a matcha matcha bean, dude. It's got the matcha You want to have a matcha? <laughs> it's very good. But um, yeah, I can't have caffeine anything past like 8 a.m. It will I do anyways. Yeah. But if I don't have any caffeine, I'll sleep at 11 p.m. easy. Oh, wow. But then the midday part's really hard for me. Yeah. Mm. They say not to do it after 3 p.m. Like that's like cutoff or like 9 to 10 hours before you go to sleep. No caffeine before. That. Five is the absolute latest for me. Let me ask y'all this. This is what I wanted to ask. There was actually hot topics, but I don't give a fuck about them right now. It's mm-hmm. a hot topic. This is what happens when I drink. Yeah, no, yeah. Shut the fuck up. I this like is what that. we're talking about. What oh, are your guys? I, I'm curious. I got you, I got you, I got you. New Year's goals. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. New Year's goals. <laughs> Let me think about them. You have none. I stop. No, did you, write, New Year's did you write a list? Do I write a list? Did nah, you write a list? Not really. You just got them in your head? <clears throat> I got them in the head. Because, you know, I, I was thinking about it a lot during December. Um, because in the fitness industry, I got to ramp up all this stuff before January. Because that's when you get, like, a lot more clients more onboarding and stuff like that but um yeah goal for me is just try to market more of myself <laughs> just do that more and and really and how are you going to do that shit well first i'm your boy consulting with somebody on my website i got a mark i'm a talking one of my clients is a marketing guy i'm gonna sit down and really have a sit down with him and i've been chatting with the uh, other couple like marketing agencies so it's just like get the x's and o's a little bit and see how they would do it for me. Like if I was. Does it you scare know, you a little bit? Oh, 100%. 100%. And really? I think leaning into <clears throat> what scares me is like the main theme of 2023. Like it's crazy new experiences. How, it's crazy how good shit for you scares you for some reason. <laughs> what is that what about? What the fuck is that? It's part dude. of growth and I've like Kaizen to... and all that shit, dude. Kaizen, dude. <laughs> that's what people say. Always progressing like that fucking <laughs> nonsense, bro. But no, but that's. You just that's, had a bunch of positive shit, shit and called it gay at the same time. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's, that's in my head. That's the voice in my head constantly. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, vitamins. Ooh. Yeah, what are you yeah. fucking losing, dude? <laughs> what are you funny. little pussy? I get like that too, though. No, honestly, like I think, I think we're all like that. Like, that. I think that's why we kind of get it. It is literally the worst quality anybody can have. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the worst quality what is that? in common. You do, you do something positive for yourself, and your brain is like, what are you a fucking idiot? It makes idiot? me nervous to you do things boy. that progress my future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah for real, for real, for real. Me too. Yeah. Are we just fucking like what self sabotage? Yeah, dude? we hate ourselves. Are we fucking losers? Do we hate ourselves? Somebody will give me like a hundred dollar bill. I'm like, yeah, right. Nice try. <laughs> fucking dumb dude fuck i'm gonna take this for bro <laughs> but i i feel Damn. a lot of people kind of go through this right and i don't know what it is i think it's because we don't want to be caught in our own bullshit right because yeah. in our mind i feel like we talk ourselves a big game i put so much work into my shit and then we when we fail it kind of reaffirms the fact that what we really feel is that we're not worth anything. Mm, yeah. And it's like, see, sure. I fucking told you so. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, thought yeah. you were some dope shit. And then it's like, you have to fight the temptation of being like a self-fulfilling prophecy in a weird way of like, because sometimes you, do, I, I think of myself, like I think I am like hypercritical in things that I do to the point where sometimes it's like a lot of self-doubt and then I just end up being complacent and like not moving forward because I'm like, sitting in this fear kind of like what we talked about the coffee shop thing. yeah yeah totally. it's like that's a that's a huge like cloud over my head but i feel like the only time and I, I was i feel like last year i was like dealing with that a lot and i think the only way i was able to kind of like pull myself out of it was just 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 keeping myself sane by just saying okay how can i just make everything just a little bit better every day like just trying my best in any possible way i could think of and 
I think it's the only thing that's been fighting the demons off, you know, and just no. how, to, how to make my my craft better. How do I, you know, coaching better? Just anything I, I'm doing, try to make it a little bit better. You know? I think that's smart too. When you break it down, because that's the thing about goals. Like that's, a, I think, a big problem that people run into with New, Year goal, New Year's goals is they throw these things out there, but there's no practical, like, like your goals like whether it's like to make a million dollars or whatever the fuck it is, mm -mm -mm. there's a lot of little practical steps you have to take every day yeah. that that's that's the shit that actually matters, mm -hmm. which is like, though, how are you going to do it? Like with the little Lego pieces, like how what are you actually going to fucking do? Because yeah. anyone could be like, I want to make a million dollars. But it's like, okay, now what though? What are you going to do to do that? Mm -hmm. So if you focus on those little things that actually progress you in that, in that way, sure. that's actually the right move. But then that, that fear comes in that, that fear of, I think part of it too is is leaving your comfort zone. Even if you don't like what your current situation is, there's still comfort in knowing what it is. Yeah. And like, even if something's good for you, like the part of you that's like afraid of the unknown fucks with you, even though you know this is not good for you. You know yeah. what I mean? Isn't that yeah, crazy? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so weird. It keeps you in that place that you you expect. So you're already expecting your day-to-day -day routine. You're you know, know it. what it's like. Yeah. So everything you're doing is trying to keep you in equilibrium, trying yeah. to keep you there, you know? So it's tough. So what are you going to do this year? So this year, um, I want to, uh, well, with comedy, I definitely want to, um, I want to film a special for sure. And I want to like really start, uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to do it on my own. Like, fuck it. You know yeah. what I mean? And I'm, I, what I need you to know, do. If you need help. It's my oh. professional. You know, I'm a professional. This is what I do for a living. Yeah, huh? thank you, baby. I appreciate that. I want to film. Take them up on it, though. I will. Honestly, I really will. I The practical steps I need to take, though. This is my thing. Like, I write like a motherfucker. I, I love writing. Like, I love writing. I love getting on stage. Where I the the part of writing that I lack on is the editing process. Like I I I get so excited about finding new things and like I love getting up there and like trying new shit and like it's exciting and whatnot. What I need to be better at, and this is what'll get me to that special, is just coming home and refining it. Like taking the time to be like, all right, no, like just focus on this subject for mm. a longer and 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 hone in on the shit that you have. It's kind of like it's working, but it could be even better. Like that's the Deep writing focus. step that I need to do. Yeah. Mm. So if I do that. And just put myself out there more. That's another thing too. That's another fear thing where I was like afraid to put myself out there as much that I just got to stop being a little bitch and just do it. This podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp. Now, if you're a Genius Brain listener, you know I've talked about BetterHelp a lot and you've heard it on many podcasts, but I am somebody who actually does use BetterHelp whenever I need somebody to talk to. Listen, I've worked on my mental health for many years now and BetterHelp has been by my side because whenever I need to access my therapist, BetterHelp allows me to access him whenever I need. And I gotta tell you, I don't like in-person therapy as much because I like doing things from the comfort of my home. I'm super busy. And instead of having to set a time a day to drive, I don't know, like an hour or so to a therapist and then drive all the way back in traffic, I have the power in my hands. I can do it all online. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. So if you want to be like me and you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash genius today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash genius. I mean, look at Jason Chetty. Look at that tard. Like, that guy believes in himself so much. And I don't look in that fucking nothing between those eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. But you've been posting more shit. I yeah, I mean, that's part of it. It's I like, love I'm it. gonna it's the practice posting. of it, right? Yeah, I'm just going to, like, start doing yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Jason has the loosest grasp of the English language. And he's out there doing stand-up, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That full... <laughs> Will message me some of the most salacious shit oh, yeah. of all time. I'll just be chilling. Yeah. And I'll get a random text message. Hey, fatty. I'm like, it's 7 a.m. Jason. Yeah, yeah. Dude, when he, when he <laughs> hits you great, with dude. the second dinner thing, I was like, that's fucked up, bro. That fool literally sent a, a video of this fat Chinese guy with his hair and honey. <laughs> and he was like, David Stowe's barber did a great job. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what yeah. the fuck, guy? <laughs> dude, Everybody thinks he's so innocent. He's a little asshole, dude. He really especially, is. especially over fucking Instagram, huh? He'd be trying to roast you. Dude, all the time. Our our Instagram thread, if it ever gets hacked, you'll just see two people going at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like just back yeah. and forth, back 
<laughs> canceling each other. Oh, totally. <laughs> no, totally. That's how it was for me and him for a long time too. Then we broke through this other zone where we're like, oh. Started showing dicks. And shit. Yeah, yeah. We're showing dicks. Now we show dicks. Now we're, now we're in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we fuck. You haven't uh, seen his dick yet, huh? No. Cadaver. Yeah, black. I told you it's black, right? <laughs> it's like, why it's like it's the so blackest black? Chinese penis you've ever seen. It's just. It's Have dark. you ever seen a little Japanese boy dead in an ocean or like a lake? <laughs> <laughs> it's all blue. <laughs> That's what it is, dude. <laughs> you ever seen a Japanese? Yeah. Boy no, it looks like in a well. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he looks like. Like Ohio. Like the grudge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the grudge, grudge, bitch. Oh, yeah, 100%. like that. That's his dick. It's decaying. It's like it's like blow. It's like decaying blue. It's got gangrene. Yeah, I was talking about the podcast. Well, this fool literally walked into like the bathroom of of, of the back room at like the, the comedy store, and I had no idea what he was doing because I basically joked around. I was like, "Show me your dick, or you're gay." <laughs> Clearly, this is a joke. Yeah, right? but he didn't want to be. Yeah, he's like, "I'm not." And gay, then he, I, I just see him David. holding his camera, running around like it's Cloverfield. Closes the bathroom, and I'm like, "What the fuck is this guy Probably doing?" And then it. he just starts slapping his dick. <laughs> <laughs> and forever burned in my head for yep. the rest of my life. Yep, yep. Didn't want to see it. And now I'm traumatized. Yeah, you got to yeah. face your abuser, do that. though. Dude, I've, listen, I've been trying to assault him back for days. How are you going to get him back? Uh, I sent him a picture of my dead dick. <laughs> <laughs> it just says unopened. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows the trick. He's like, um, He's like I'm not going to do it, guys. <laughs> I know. What's the goal for you, David? So I'm going to fix my knee. <laughs> Which is something that's good for me that I've been putting off for years. Mm-hmm. Meaning get a surgery or are you going to uh, like Yeah, PT there's, there's no option. It's done. Ooh. That pop was ridiculous. Ooh. Yeah, because I think as as the work that we've done has gained its mobility back to its max. Which is pretty that, fucking that's good. That's mostly your ankle though too. You know? Yeah, so I'm going to get this. I'm going to get an MRI on my ankle and this. But this whole shit, I got to get it fixed. I don't have to because I can run fine. I can move fine. But… I want to be Dagestani. Bro, yeah, so bro, bro. I need to fix this shit. Because I need that mobility. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think if I have that, it's going to… It's going to fuck up my progression. So I'll we're going to work early. And then towards the end of the year, I'm just going to get it done af- after I you know do all the shit that I want. I'm going to get it knocked out. I heard the recovery process is only about a month. Oh, it's mm. tight. Because it's meniscus, right? Yeah. Tight. Snip, snip. <clears throat> or they'll replace or do, so, do, do some, some other PT, shit. With some PT, you'll be good to go. And then I'll be good after a month. So… I'm just going to get that shit done. Yeah. Um. I think I'm kind of over boxing and kickboxing. I think I just like it for the the fun of it. I don't care to do it in… um, Like sparring to me is fun, right? Yeah. But I think that when I started going to other gyms, m- most people aren't there to have fun. Mm-hmm. They're, trying to knock your ass they're out. trying to kill you. <clears throat> and I, right. I was like, oh, I'm kind of in this for the homies. Like I just like training. Yeah. Most people aren't like that. Yeah. And I just didn't know because, you know, it just wasn't the environment that, you know, I had. Yeah. So when I went to a couple of other gyms and then people just tried to fucking knock your block off. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't think I'm a fighter. I think I just enjoy the sport. Yeah. And even if it's… Train recreationally. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so <clears throat> I think being able to see other people train, it, it kind of put in perspective. Like, I don't think I like this this part as but much. It's so it. fun to watch, isn't it? Yes. Dude, I just sent him videos of this <laughs> these backyard Korean brawls of these… Like country bumpkins just boxing. They all look like David, bro. They're all like different <clears throat> versions of David. Not even a racial way. They legit, one of the guys looked like me five years ago. Yeah, bro. But fucking like different dude. stages of his life. <laughs> and his brother too. They all yeah. look like his brother too. So That's when I showed Mary that video, she goes, I thought that was you. I was like, just wait till you fight and you know it's not me. He yeah. is good. Really? But they all kind of, they have this scowl on their face that I'm like, oh, that's David. <laughs> that's David. And that's I, he was sending me this shit last night. And I was like, oh, that's the face he gives when he's like about to beat up an owner of a very famous fight shop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm about to light some dude up. That is not true at all. <laughs> really I, nice man. I have a very sweet. I have defended Italian myself man. too Italian many man. times. All yeah, right. Nah, we don't got to talk about uh, it. We don't got to talk about it. All right. But we all you traumatized scowl. that we man. Sh- we shared a slice of pizza after. You traumatized that man. It's okay. He still <laughs> has night. He wakes up like, oh, ah! <laughs> he wakes up. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go hard. And he's like, oh, I'm a blue belt. Honey, it was the big Asian man again. <laughs> he got it's me. okay. It's okay. He's a comedian. He's a comedian. He makes jokes. Don't worry about it. He won't do it to you again. <laughs> he deserved it. He deserved every fucking punch to the face. All right. Oh, dude. Don't double down. No, 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 no. And he's also a racist. <laughs> <laughs> he's tripling down. When I hit him in the face, he went like this. Oh, good shot. <laughs> <laughs> he did do that. Well That's deserved. True. You gotta did get you guys see the… Um, I don't know. If, this is not a hot topic, but… I legit saw this because I did a video where I was talking about how when you go into like the gym in the first week, 
everybody looks at you mm. as if you're not supposed to be there because they legit look at you like, oh, you're going to be gone in a couple of weeks. So stupid. And I don't like that. And that Equinox thing came out right like the day oh, yeah, after yeah, yeah, I posted yeah. that, which I didn't understand the purpose of their marketing. Well, I don't Wait, what was, the, what was the Equinox So thing? Equinox said that they don't believe in January workout people. So essentially what they're saying is they're not going to accept any new memberships in January, Whoa. which for me doesn't make sense. Number one, marketing wise, stupid. Yeah. Because just for a business sense, right? You want to take new memberships. The biggest month. From people who won't work out at your gym because your gym will stay at full capacity, but you'll still rack in more dollars than what you can contain. It's like the Planet Fitness model. Right? Exactly. You want Their whole model is they don't want people that actively work out in their gym. So they take out the barbells. They say no slamming weights. If you wear like- It's um, a safe they space. Pizza. They give pizza. Yeah, they give pizza. So they want people that Fire. don't work out. So then they're just constantly on auto pay. And then, sure. And then they don't have wear and tear on the gym equipment. So it's like kind of a win-win. Mm. But I guess that's kind of what, you know, what you're alluding to. That's what Equinox should That's be. fucking dumb though. But the stuff, why I turned down all that money? We did the story on JK and apparently I thought it was the whole month of January, but it was apparently like not January 1st. That's the only day out of the month. Oh, really? Who knows if they like backtracked yeah. it or something like that. But it's still like just dumb because like Equinox is so like, the well, fitness industry has his nose up at everybody anyway. Like mm -hmm. most people, that's a I think a lot of people that don't work out is because they they don't like the whole like I'm better than you because I I grind harder than you every day. Yeah. You know, like those like those gym goers, they're annoying. We all know those people. Mm -hmm. And they turn it off for a lot and of And number one, nobody goes to Equinox to work out. Nobody goes to fucking Equinox to work out. It's 200 fucking dollars a month. Dude, try 300. Okay, crazy, it's three hundred now. Try three hundred. Okay, that's crazy. So it's three hundred dollars a month, right? On top of that, when I went to Equinox one time on a guest pass, nobody was working out. Yeah, dude. Everybody was sitting around doing nothing. They were doing <laughs> jack all <laughs> shit. They got the best lotions though. The pumps, it's dude. They had lotion. towels, everything, wow. laundry service, all the amenities. Laundry service. Here's the thing. They're, the only Whoa. people who go to Equinox in LA are number one, gay dudes. All my gay people, shout outs to you. You know what's up. It's the gays. Because they're looking for the zaddies, right? Mm -hmm. Zaddies. The all the money. gay homies say that that's where you find like closet gay dudes that want to fuck. Yeah. Number for two. For real, huh? That's closet what the gay ones, homies huh? told me. Wow. Yeah. Now I know. They're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> number two is girls looking for rich guys to date, like <laughs> NBA players, like stars and shit yeah, like interesting. that. Interesting. So nobody mm. goes to Equinox to get their fucking fitness on. Shut the fuck up. That makes no sense. That's not even your business model. You cost $300 a month. Yeah. Also, too, you know who needs to work out the most? Fat people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. You yeah, know, I right. think they, they need, need the to gym get healthy, the most. Bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I get happy when I see a fat person in the gym. Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, but, like, hey, but guess shit, what? <laughs> guess what? Us fat people hate you. Because yeah. <laughs> we're over here working out. And then you do this. And then I go, yeah. Fuck you, guys. <laughs> that guy's been a dick. Yeah, stop that <laughs> shit. Hey, man. Stop making fun of me. I'm supporting, dude. I yeah, hate yeah. it when I'm in the gym and another fat person looks at me and they go, hey, man, you too? I'm like, no, we're not in the same boat. <laughs> you too? <laughs> don't touch me and get the fuck out of here, fatty. All right? It's January 1st. You don't belong. <laughs> fatty. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare look at me and give me this right here. Put your fucking chicken wings down, you fat fuck. <laughs> I am not you. Bro, you can't be fat shaming people uh, on the internet, I'm bro. I'm fat still, so I can fat shame whoever. You can fat shame. Is he fat? You're yes. not fat. You're not fat. That's a nice titty. All right. <laughs> I can do that too with my tip, bro. No, 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 no. I am still you're not fat. fat. No, okay. No, no. Don't I don't take this power away from me. <laughs> now, you're not fat, bro. Take I feel like I think no, you no. should be allowed to fat shame even if you're not fat. Let's go. Let's go. The moment I stop being fat, I will still continue to fat shame. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, I used to be fat. Yeah, I will go even harder. You can say that yeah, now. Yeah. yeah. You listen, skinny bitch. Listen. You're skinny, dog. I don't think that there is ever a problem for a former fat person to talk shit, uh, make fat jokes. Because I know the pain. Yeah. I know what it's like to walk in and say, oh, look at David. He's sitting next to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a hotel favorite. That was a good Dude, one. I love it. It is great. Yeah. Some of these fat jokes would be so fucked up because I remember growing up, like you would try to roast your friends and they would say a fat joke. And the whole time I'm trying not to laugh because if I laugh, I lose. Yeah. So yeah. they'll just, I don't know, they'll say something and then everybody's cracking up and I got to be like this. Oh, yeah. But in my mind, I'm like, see, I'm dog. <laughs> it was it's hilarious. funny because those jokes are so tried and true. Like yeah. they just never fail. They're fat like the workhorse. You know what I mean? They're like the 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 whatever the wheat industry in this country. Like it's just the bread. Like it's just always consistent, there. Consistent, They're bro. consistent, dependable. 
like that joke you just said funny dude every yeah. time every time yeah so like next everybody bang, boom, yeah. bread that's bread right there i can <laughs> yeah. always depend on bread i remember freaking uh <laughs> remember when um aries spears made that joke about lizzo Mm-mm, I didn't hear so that. aries when aries spears who's i fucking love he's like one of my favorite stand-up <laughs> comics mm-hmm. he's so funny and then he made a comment basically saying lizzo looks like the shit emoji <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick joke. So I was like, okay, that means yeah, yeah. I was kind of unnecessary, like yeah, yeah, out of yeah. nowhere. Yeah. The weird and people went fucking in on him because, you know, he high key looks like the shit emoji himself. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So people yeah. were basically That's making true. fun of him. Is like, how can you make fun of a fat person when you're fucking fat too? And so the internet tore his ass up, dude. That's so they funny. went in on him because of the body positivity thing. Yeah. But the funny thing, I don't know if Lizzo has ever said that. She was healthy. Yeah, I think she just she, she, she can't. Just leads she can't say that. She's I don't healthy. think she's ever said that. So that would actually be factually wrong. <laughs> <to say. laughs> so I don't understand what the big deal is. Not like she's ever said like I'm healthy. She I plays mean, the she, flute hella good. Hey, that's she's all like flout- she dances and shit. Baby. You know what I mean? Her music Bro, okay. is dope. So do you guys ever watch Kill Tony? Yes. Yeah. So Tiffany's been watching it at a random like she just starts watching it because she loves it now. So and she kind of put me onto it. You know who David Lucas is? Dude. Bro, David so Lucas funny. So funny, and Tony dude. Hinchcliffe okay. going at yes. it. So that's what I'm going to bring up. Tony Hinchcliffe had a really good joke. And he, he he goes into fat jokes on David Lucas. And then David Lucas always go on, calls Tony Hinchcliffe gay or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Tony Hinchcliffe looks at fucking David Lucas and he goes, you look like Lizzo's fitness trainer. <laughs> and I was like, damn, that's fucking, <laughs> that's fucking hella funny. Because he looked like, you know, I, Mark Norman had a roast for fucking... Uh, David Lucas. Oh thing. yes, I seen that clip. What he say? Uh, uh, the, well, I, one of them I remember was like, so da- David Lucas does his minute set and he turns around and he starts praising Mark Norman. He's like, Mark Norman, like I fuck with you, you're funny. And he's like, ha, thank you. And he's like, NW ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy That's the first one. But yeah, Mark Norman. I don't. There were so many in that clip. Mark Norman's yeah. almost too fast. He's, he's too, too fast. Hard. He's yeah. too hard to roast. He's oh, too, too quick. Yeah. He's too quick. Like, he's what, the fastest dude I've ever seen in my entire seriously. life. Seriously. Uh, like he's him really on the good. Rogan podcast, he says so many jokes, it's hard to catch him because he's that fast. Yeah. And I have to pause and rewind and go back. Yeah. And then hear these jokes again. I'm yeah. Like, how do you think that quick? He's definitely on the spectrum. Oh, for, for sure. sure. He's, he's sure. going, he's like the rain man of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he really is. He goes, he's volume. He goes, he goes, oh, volume. I remember after that roast, he calls him NW8 too much. And then David Luke, Lucas goes like, you look like somebody who I would have stole your lunch money. And he goes, yeah, I could tell. <laughs> he's, like, yeah, he's like, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you, you did. did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. And then David Lucas is dying laughing. And that that shit is hard to roast yeah. somebody for 10 minutes straight. Oh, is, yeah. And then do it every week. And, f- and also fast. Like, yeah. it's not, like no thoughts in between. It's if I had like, to bang, do that bang, kill bang. Tony shit, I'd probably survive three, four jokes. And then I'm That's out. That's it. Yeah. I'm yeah. out. And then it's just me sitting there going, uh, 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 you know? Yeah. They're good. They're and they very get laughs. Good. At, like a good amount of them get they're laughs. Because they're good jokes. Yeah. They're good like, jo- they're legit, it's so hard to jokes. do that and be original only on those two topics of being gay and then being fat. Like that's so hard. <laughs> Back yeah, that's and tough. forth for 10 minutes. Yeah, How bro. How do you do that yeah. shit? He's in the pocket, Crazy. bro. Both Dude, those dudes. When David Lucas beast. first came out and he did that, he destroyed Tony Hinchcliffe. He oh, yeah. wrecked his he ass. He wasn't even expecting it. And then Tony came back ready. Yeah, when they went back and forth. I was like, "Oh, now it's a little even." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But watch- sometimes it, it depends. Sometimes David Lucas gets the better of him. Sometimes Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah. Because I watch all those clips, and it's like they're usually pretty even. But both those fools are so good, mm. so good at roasting. Yeah, David Lucas is a fucking animal, dude. Uh, did you see the one with the, when Bill Burr came out? Oh, and got mad at Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, yeah. and that Bill Burr just fucking obliterated. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. He goes, "What the fuck is your problem?" <laughs> he just starts ripping him. Yeah, he just yeah. Ripping he just defends him. everybody, dude. He defends everybody. I'm like, damn, Bill Burr is not somebody you should have up here. He'll kill. He'll just rip into you. He'll rip into you like to your soul. <laughs> I know. He's He's like, like, Tony Hinchcliffe like, oh shit, yeah, dude, I fucked up, dude. And then the one with Theo Vaughn is really funny too because he just like apologizes the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He'll yeah, like yeah. rip on somebody like, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry man. I didn't mean to say that. Like, it's pretty hard for you to be up here. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's just nice. such a nice dude, bro. <laughs> when uh, Bill Burr was on uh, the Rogan podcast, watching him kind of go toe to toe with Rogan. And oh, dude, Rogan he was kind of dunking on Rogan, dude. And then Rogan's crying, laughing, yeah. yeah, just because of how good his responses are, dude. How do you do that? He's, he's, such he's a so, it, and it's just like who he is. It's yeah. not even like, it's not, he's not even trying. It's just, yeah. that's just who he is. Yeah. Bill Burr is a fucking animal. I just saw Louis C.K. on Theo Vaughn's podcast today. That shit was amazing, dude. Really? Yeah. It's very that shit, good. Dude. Tiff was watching that today. It was good. You watching all that shit. It's crazy because uh, Theo doesn't do the, um, the Brendan Shop podcast anymore. Yeah. He's, it's, it's done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's he dipped doing out. It. He's not a part of 
the the anything? I don't think so. No, the king of the sting is like he's out. He's what do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? I just was surprised because they, they were doing really well. Well, doesn't he like not live in LA anymore? Oh yeah, I heard he lives out in like Louisiana. In he Nash- just flies in. Oh yeah, or some shit. Yeah, he flies in, in whenever. Yeah, bro, that's hard to do. Yeah, a fucking fuck all weekly that. podcast. Yeah, because he has his own LA. podcast that he does. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one that he had with Louis on that came out today. It's just fucking amazing. Yeah, I, I was kind of shocked because I was looking at it and it's um, King. No, it's not the. It's the King, the Sting, and something. It sounds like Chris D'Elia and Eric Griffin or something. Mm. Oh, they probably rebranded. I don't know what's then. going on. Yeah, dude. I don't knows. even know what's happening, Brenda Schaub or any of that bullshit. I just know you hate him, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the internet hates that fool too, bro. I don't hate Brendan Shaw at all. Dude, if Ariel Hawani's out here just dunking dude, on Brendan Shaw constantly, dude. bro. Like, Ariel Hawani is he vicious. Hey, what, what do you think about the Dana, Dana White? Dana White. What do you think about Dana oh White? Oh my God. Bro? So look, I had no idea about <laughs> Ariel this Hawani shit. was going in on him, bro. Dude, I didn't even hear Ariel stuff. I just kind of recap what happened. Yeah. But apparently he... Bitch slapped the shit out of his wife. Bro. Twice. It was crazy. Oh, but she twice. slapped yeah, him yeah. first, though. She yeah. did right? slap him first. So everybody was saying, listen, first slap, you would have been clear. Yeah. You know, because he kept following up. It was tit for tat. Then yeah. he went tit for tat for blip. You don't go twice. You know? Yeah, man. Once is like you made your point. Made Second your point. one's like, I want you to wake up tomorrow. Bro, yeah, when you yeah. got something to lose and you're Dana White, dude, and you slap your wife, that's it, bro. But you're the way though. he, the way co- but, you're in the coffin. What's crazy is he's not done, so he, he like, I mean, he came out and said what he said. Yeah. And then it's just, he's still, like I was watching, there was a clip of him getting interviewed by people and they're still talking. They're going to talk yeah, about it for yeah. a long ass time. No, for sure. Like that's but always going to be a part of him for it's just the like, next couple as years. It, yeah, it's like, ah, man. He's very lucky that the clip that came out, not that I'm saying that this is a good situation, yeah. but he's lucky yeah. that they didn't edit the clip where it was just him slapping her. Oh, yeah. 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 So now there is this whole idea where... I'm not saying it's right, but people are it's not like, right. Well, she fucking swung first. Yeah. Because if he didn't have that part, it's just game over. So well, like he just assaulted both the shit. Both things could be true, though. No, 100%. Yeah, I'm just you know? saying that most people probably would have edited that part out sure. and ripped them apart. Me and Tiff have been having conversations about it. What's help? Tiff- Sorry, go ahead. No, me and Tiff have been having conversations about it because she's like, that's fucked up that she slapped him. And I was like, yeah, it's fucked up. He shouldn't have done that. But like, she fucking hit him first, you know? And then she's like, wait, would you slap me? And I'm like, no, I wouldn't slap you. Yeah, he would. But <laughs> I was like, I would never. If you slap me, I would never slap you. But at the same time, it's like some people have to understand. If you're a woman and you hit the wrong guy, yeah, they gonna hit you back. Yeah, like it's right. just a reality. Right, like, right, and right. it's not right by any means, but it's just like that's it. Some people are crazy. Some people yeah. will fucking punch you in the face. You see videos like that all over the internet, like that. It's weird though, because I've saw this video too in New York where this girl she grabs sh- dog shit off the floor. And she smeared it in a guy's face. And that guy wow. socked her. And then everybody started wow. jumping the dude. Oh, oh, wow. And I was thinking to myself, you dog didn't shit see is crazy, her bro. smear dog shit in his face? Yeah, right. So I don't understand how you nobody decided to pull her away and be like, hey, stop this. Yeah, yeah. But then this guy gets dog shit in his face and then he gets his ass beat. The yeah, worst yeah. day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah, where yeah. did you see that video? I follow a lot of weird fight videos. <laughs> So my that is my very whole, niche, dude. Yeah, that's very bro. niche. My whole my whole Twitter um timeline. That's like his all, porn. That's all, what you probably jerk that's off. Your, jerk off to, dude. That's your moose. That's, if, if you had forty five minutes to jerk off, that's what you would that's jerk your off. Your moose yeah. <laughs> That's your career. That's I, the I don't know why. I love street fight videos. Yeah, they are good. It's just you just live through them. World Star Hip Hop has an amazing one. It, that's it what is. it is. You live through. You know, it, it remind. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Look, dude, he's like. <laughs> It, he's, getting he's in love with it. In touch it makes with his me feelings. laugh because I wish somebody recorded how bad of a fighter I was when I was younger. I've never seen this dude touch his chest. I'm so, so moved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I see deep. things like that, it, it puts in perspective how a majority of people fight. So I think we get to see the cleaned up version on UFC. Yeah. But most people just swing for the fucking fences. Right. If they're and, about it. And so when we retell our stories, like I've done multiple times, like, yeah, man, I socked this dude up. Most likely my wrist was curled back <laughs> right? and I was doing this. <laughs> yeah, 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 But that's now how I remember it. Yeah. Sure. But now we look at these videos. I'm like, I bet you I look just like that. In your head, you're Anderson Silva versus Chris Lehman. You're you're fucking 10 sevening everybody. And then I read the comments and the comments <laughs> make me laugh because they go, look at his form. This fool can't fight. And I'm like, you can't fight Bro, either. I bet. The comments yeah. are the worst. Right. Everybody's an expert in fighting. 
at the end of the day, you don't know what's going to happen. You might be outside of a gym holding somebody down and just bitch slapping him back and forth. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. 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 Not allegedly. like you did that, but like. Yeah, allegedly, 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 that allegedly. allegedly. Allegedly that might be happening. You might be going <laughs> three years of kickboxing and the first thing you do is just fucking paintbrush them. Yeah. Yeah. Like paint this. Like a, <laughs> on a sushi jacket, dude. <laughs> like I'm cl- Bob Ross cleaning my paintbrush. You know? <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. Those five videos make my day. I They're watch really good. every night before I go to sleep. I say, ooh, what's No, what you can't go to sleep, bro. You're probably hyped up on adrenaline watching Just watching a bunch video. of Korean people just sock each other's faces <laughs> I in. I notice that too. Like sometimes when I watch fights and I get too inside, like too into it, like my heart rate's racing and I'm just like up. I can't go to sleep. So stop doing that, bro. Especially when you're on caffeine, you're going to stay up all night. I love it. <laughs> it makes me, and it makes me want to train again though. Mm. So like I'll watch these videos and then literally in the middle of the night at like 10.30, I just get up. Where are you going? Don't worry. I have a mission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jason Bourne. And I walk into this little dojo I make and I try to do the combo that they did and it fucking feels good. Yeah. yeah. Whenever I watch UFC fights, one, it deters me from fighting ever again, but mm. two, it makes me want to train more. Yeah. yeah. It's sure. exciting. You just want to get it better. Is. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, sure. I think the, what always shocks me too is when I see somebody do something that I've seen them train in videos. Mm. And I see them do these yeah. combos. I'm like, holy shit, he just did it in an actual fight. Yeah. Whether it's repetition or whatever the fuck it is, it's ingrained in him. Yeah. Like how the fuck do you decide to just fucking slip, hook, dip, rotate, body, head, frame, cross? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Like yeah. how? Like it's hard enough to do that on pads. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, to right, see right. somebody do it in, in real life blows my fucking mind. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Dude, Victoria what? Lee. Wow, bro. Oh my God. The, so her vital just died? She, she was, was 18. 18. Yeah. She was what like happened? 17 when she uh, debuted in, at one championship. Yeah, and she beat up some like 30 year old woman, bro. Yeah. So what? She took her she, lunch money. How she? <laughs> I think, a lot, she, I think uh, they haven't disclosed officially. Probably but, suicide. Yeah. I, oh, really? I think, uh, wh- what's her sister's name? I can't believe I'm forgetting her name. Angela. Angela. Angela Lee. She's a beast. Bro. Beast. But she posted something. And at the very end, it was like, make sure you check in on your Jeff Chan members. with boobs. <laughs> she yeah. kind of, yeah. She, she looks like Jeff Chan. She kind of looks like Jeff Chan. Uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that cut me off. <laughs> 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 you just, you like, just had two pictures that went. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Yeah. But <laughs> I was like, dude, Jeff Chan's beat the shit out of Stamp Fair Text. <laughs> I was like, this is an unfair match. That's fucked up. Yeah. But, but that's Christian Lee. <laughs> yeah. So Christian Lee just won two belts. Bro, he's a beast. He's fucking nuts. And he's always been a fucking killer, dude. Did you see him in the beginning of that fight? No. He almost got knocked out. He got wild boy. rocked so fucking hard. It looked like he was going to be knocked out throughout the whole round and came back and won by TKO. Dude, won championship fights, bro. They got are, good shit, huh? They got really good fights, man. Like everyone's like Bellator's. Obviously, Bellator's up there. But I think one is the only thing that's contending with the UFC. For striking, it is amazing. For pure entertainment purposes. And then they got a bunch of those Dagestani guys who are all Habib's dudes. Nurmagomedov's and they're, dude. They're actually, I think one of them is 155 and he's going to fight uh, Christian Lee. He dude. just beat the shit out of fucking Shinya Aoki. And I'm like, oh, these Dagestanis are going to take gonna over It's going to be a problem. Too. So for, for people who are listening out there, the reason why this is such a big deal. So... Christian Lee, Angela Lee, and Victoria Lee are from a lineage. They're a family. It's like a yeah. family lineage like of he- amazing fighters. Based out of Hawaii, Christian Lee, a young phenom, right? Amazing. Angela Lee, young phenom. All of them. The whole family. Brother and sister. Third sister. Third sister came in 17 years old. The girl just hit puberty and beat the shit out of a mother <laughs> <laughs> with children. Yeah. Beat the living daylights out of her, right? <laughs> And then out of nowhere, <laughs> December 26th, I believe, or like on Christmas, yeah. the day after Christmas. 26th, yeah. She, she, uh, it's not confirmed, but basically the verbiage wise. in the way that she posted it saying like, check in on your family. You don't know what they're going through. Yeah, Fuck. A hundred percent is suicide. So Fuck. fucking rough, dude. This girl at the top of her fucking game, Ugh. obliterating people, highly respected. And she killed herself, dude. What the fuck is going on, man? Yeah, 2023 bro. is starting off in a weird fucking way. Well, I just think the... I was listening to Huberman talk about this with like Jocko Wilman about like suicide because he was talking about Jocko was talking about um, how a lot of Navy SEALs obviously with the trauma sometimes like suicide is pretty prevalent in the Navy SEAL community and then Huberman was kind of talking about it and he and he knows the fucking reason why anybody does anything you know he's such yeah. a smart dude and he was saying like yeah like I really fucking don't nerd yeah fucking nerd dude <laughs> he's like I really don't know 
why people are committing suicide at this rate. Like there's really no explanation that I can think of scientifically biochemistry wise, like why this is happening. But a lot of it was like, a lot of people don't have the right outlook where they just, they can't see ahead of themselves enough. They don't have the ability to see ahead of themselves and know that like what they're feeling and going through is only temporary. Like emotional, emotion feeling is only, doesn't last forever. Like you'll, you'll see it through. And he's saying that like a lot of people are, <sighs> don't have that foresight and i think that's what causes them to but I, it's got to go through I don't, that right i mean i guess yeah but it's just cuz like, of other things of course cuz i mean on paper we can all be like yo pain is temporary and all that stuff but like people that like i i can't even imagine cuz i've had bad times like yeah. i've had shitty things happen to me and i've been sad and you know whatever but i bet you it doesn't even come close to whatever people that like are on the verge oh, of suicide of course, like of course. i don't even like I don't know, I don't know what gets them in that place or how dark it gets. But yeah. I mean, think about how strong your survival to live is, just as an animal, just yeah. as like being an animal, as a fighter, for as sure. a fighter too, yeah, a but successful then, fighter, yeah, a family of fighters. The thing is with fighting though, like the CTE has to play into it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there has to be something yeah. to like, you know, getting your head rocked a lot. That you know, I mean, you see it with football players, like. It's just something about your decision making probably gets changes. fucked up. Yeah, yeah, changes from getting cracked in the head a lot. Yeah, because I mean, she's <clears throat> I, that literally came out of nowhere. And also, also, I don't think she's as public with her social media and stuff. So nobody really knows her like that. Um, she literally just came onto the scene a year ago. Mm -hmm. But you know, for I, I mean, seemingly it seems like they're pretty like close knit family because they also train together. And they were all blindsided. They had no fucking idea what yeah, she was going bro. through. Fuck. And I wonder too, for those people out there who kind of feel like these emotions of committing suicide and people say, just reach out. Um, I don't know. If bro. somebody reaches out, would they have stopped? Who knows? Who knows? That's, That's the, the thing is you don't know. When the uh, dancer, a uh, Twitch. Oh, bro. That's a huge one, right? I still don't think he killed himself. Really? Uh, just a little odd. Yeah. Why? The, who, who, who? Everybody. Who, the guy who every, the, he was a he was a huge dance guy. He's like a legend in the dance scene. He was you know he was one on of Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, the, the DJ. DJ. And he was like, dude, he had it, from yeah, the outside looking that. in. You're like, this guy has it all. He has a beautiful family. You know, and not even just outside looking in. People who know him personally. I have friends who know him personally. Yeah. Like just yeah. talked to him like a week or two before he passed away, uh, and they talk consistently. They're like, this doesn't make any sense. Mm. There are people who come. I know who have committed suicide that I know, right? Where I could kind of rationalize, like, you know what? I could kind of see what they were going through. Yeah. Not a single person I know that knows him personally has said that. They go, no, this doesn't make sense. Mm. Every single one. So I don't want to start a conspiracy, conspiracy or everything, right? Let let the let the dead rest in peace. It just doesn't sit with me, but, right? But Whoa. isn't that like so crazy? Like you, from everything you've heard about this one dude, it's so like positive across the board that you can't even fathom why this dude specifically get him, to that point you know for somebody with you know like robin williams when he passed away yeah. I, it made sense not not made sense but we could see it yeah right um with somebody like him i just don't i it, like none of the pieces add up even a little bit mm -hmm. um he killed himself at a motel next to his house like that was walking distance Oof. and heavy wow. how how like, like gun 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 you know yeah. um and then there was like some weird sh like stuff that the, uh, the motel workers were saying, like we didn't hear anything crazy or anything else like that. Certain things aren't adding up. People were talking weird story. about. Yeah, I don't know. Really, I don't want to say anything that I that hasn't been confirmed, but it yeah. just doesn't sit really right with me. Funny thing enough, like I know this is not funny, but I just remember that day when it happened. A bunch of people were texting me like, "Hey, just checking in," and I'm j I just wrote back, "I'm not going to kill myself. Shut the fuck up." <laughs> 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 it was literally I got, I would say twelve texts. Hey man, just want to say I love you. And you think I just, that's bullshit or what? I just why does everybody think I'm gonna kill myself? Yeah, like, I just texted you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, these you should check in the people who pretend to be happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm miserable all the time. I'm open about it. I'm pretty good, you know. It's pretty good. I got like 12 texts of like, hey, bro, just want to let you know, man. Everyone checked on you. So name name one of them. Here David. for you. Name one of them. You should send them back huh? a picture name of a one noose. Of them. Just Cannot, a noose. You can't name one of them. I'm not gonna name one of them. My buddy Josh. And so, <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Hit me up. He goes, I just want to say I love you. I'm like, I'm not going to kill myself. Why do you think he texted you? Why do you think you got so many texts that day? I think because the the <laughs> thing about it is that comics are the saddest people ever. Sure. Not me. 
I'm pretty good. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm pretty chill, yeah. boy. Yeah, I, that's a, that's the a thing that's thrown around. I don't think that's necessarily true either. Like they're sad ass comics, but I don't. They're not all. I'm pretty yeah. happy. Depra- yeah, I feel good. Yeah. So, and then I think the most annoying thing was when I kept on receiving text messages from people I don't like. Like I haven't heard from in years. Do you feel like they're being insincere? Because I feel like fifty percent of that might be just like a weird gesture. And I listen. I know I shouldn't have texted this back, and it's a joke. But once again, once I texted, it's already out. But somebody, <laughs> this person who I, I literally, the last time I saw this guy, I said, if you see me, walk the other way. Oh, you told right? me Because he did some shady shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck is this person, so dude? This guy, I'll tell you about it after. But this guy texts <laughs> I I me. Idea. He texts me and he goes like, hey man, just checking in on my friends. And I said, listen, I wasn't going to kill myself, but I am now. <laughs> <laughs> what did they respond? Uh, and he just wrote, ha ha, LOL. Love you, bro. And I was like, don't love you back. Why are you texting me? (laughs) (laughs) And then it was just left on red. I'm like, what the fuck are you thinking? Yeah. I don't like you. It's not that I- Maybe you're not mean enough, dude. I literally said to him- (laughs) Walk the other way. When you yeah. see me, walk the other way. That's right. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta come harder. So I saw him, and it gets worse. I saw him at this event. It was like this, this smooshing event. This is after the text. This is before. Oh, this is the last the time I saw him. Oh, oh. And he comes up to me. He did some dirty shit to me, and he just goes, "Hey, bro, do I haven't seen you in so long? Like, I, like I, I, I've been thinking about you. I was like, that's funny. I haven't thought about you once. Why the fuck are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then he apologizes. Cold, he goes, "Yeah, I just want to say sorry." I was like, "No, it's been years. It's you, when you should have apologized was then. Now it's too late. Like I don't like you, right?" And people know how very sincere I can be when it comes to emotions like this because there's no point. There's no point in me seeing him at another event and pretending like, "Hey, bro, what's going yeah, no, on? No, no, no. I like your shoes. Yeah, Whoa, what the." You know? yeah. <laughs> David, I can't imagine you doing that shit. I yeah. No, I like that. That's yeah. how it should be. And for most people, even if I don't like them, I can be cordial. With him, he knows I cannot be cordial. Because in all honesty, I should have knocked his fucking teeth out. Mm. Can you briefly talk about what he did? So basically what he did was that he kind of new to like the Hollywood social media game type of stuff, right? So he's he is known as a habitual person who will step on you to get what he needs. Mm. So he owed me... Uh, we did a project together and he was supposed to edit it and get it done. The guy decides that he found somebody else to latch onto and then he starts working on their stuff. Two months, I paid him for the gig and he just oh. bounced. Oh. You don't take fucking money. And I was broke at the time. Yeah. He took my livelihood from me. Yeah. I should have fucking strangled him. <laughs> and so I found out he's back home or whatever. And I heard he was, my friends were telling me, right? They're like, yo, he's at his apartment, hit him up. And I was like, hey, so you're at your house right now. People told me you're at your crib. You're back in the city. You either come back to my house in fucking two hours. I'm going to give you two hours to come here. I'm going to fuck you up. That's all I said. He comes back and he's just literally crying, apologizing. I'm so sorry, man. And I literally told him like, this is fucked up as a friend. We're doing this business transaction. Number one, you stole from me. Like I'm broke. I just came to LA. I am assed out. Like seriously broke, eating top ramen every fucking day. I got this box spring bed and then one fucking computer all in my room. And you stole from me. And I'm looking at him. I was like, how do you fucking live with yourself? And he's just like, no, I just got busy. I was like, bullshit, bro. I know you're working on this other guy's project because you know that he can get you further than I can. You step on people to get where you're at. So get the fuck out of here. If I ever see you again, it's on site. That's all I said. Give me my fucking money back. And then that's the last time I saw him. That's wild that he texted you just checking hey, in. That's <laughs> yeah, so wild, bro. That is wild. He's delusional. He's he's, he's mentally ill, yeah, probably. Yeah. Ruined my whole fucking day. I didn't even know who it was because it's just a blank fucking number. Right? Wow. Just checking in on you, bro. <laughs> you love you, bro. Yeah, checking in on your mentals. <laughs> your, <laughs> your mentals. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, what a dumbass. <laughs> That's he's he's trying to get something out of that. Now, Ooh, I'm getting heated as I'm talking. That's Whoa. pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. I just want to fuck <laughs> <laughs> a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, fuck that guy, hundred percent. Like, could you sucks. imagine a friend doing that to you? No. Like knowing how, like you're barely keeping the lights on and then stealing my shit and walking away with it, That's acting wild, like it's bro. cool. Yeah, That's yeah. Wild. Like I wouldn't fucking find you, bro. Like yeah, yeah. I, he's fucking lucky. I am a Christian man. Yeah, yeah. Christian boy. No, you know, it, you know what's good? I was thinking about this recently. It's like jail is actually a good thing. 
because jail prevents me from doing a lot of things. That I, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like a lot of times I'm like, I'm, I want to do that, but I will be in jail. And then I don't do it. Oh, let me, let me tell you. And then you, you just have to turn. swallow it. So you know how I watch a lot of fight videos, right? Yeah, yeah. I saw this video that traumatized me. It was this very large man that literally was choking a guy with one hand, right? With Undertaker. And somebody's recording him in the jail because, you know, they have stolen phones or shit or like yeah. phones. Yeah, they make TikToks. And they're choking. He's choking this guy. This guy's maybe six foot five, 300 something pounds. And this guy, he's like, yo, get off me, motherfucker. Get off me. Dude's looking around and he starts fucking grabbing his dick. And he goes, and the guy's being choked. He goes, why are you grabbing my dick? <laughs> and the guy's looking around, just fucking yanking at his dick. I was traumatized. Oh God, <laughs> the that's, worst that's nightmare rape, Dude. of that's sexual all, assault. He said he was looking around, fucking like those Chinese medicine balls. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just jostling that shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was shook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe shit like that happens. If, if that shit guy happens. that's getting choked, if he gets hard, is that gay? Huh? No. <laughs> Come on, nah. baby. Hey, you That's in, heat of the moment, right? Heat of the moment. Heat hey, of the you moment. You in prison. What, what you if he's gay? Yeah, like, what if he got soft hands? Dude, if you swiped his dick right now, that shit getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> honestly, true. I'm bricked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dick print. <laughs> oh my god. I said swipe dick. Yeah. He said excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, dude. If that guy's on day eleven, yeah, no bro. nut challenge, hey, dude. He's he's, he's coming, out. dude. <laughs> He's coming. Coming. The part that made me uncomfortable was him choking him and then looking around like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So casual, right? So casual. Yeah. So nonchalant. And the guy just goes, why are you grabbing my dick? Like, the dumbest you know, question dog. in the world. You know. Yeah, you know. Because yeah. he, want, he, he want that prison slump. Yeah, he want that prison slump. Man, man. He want that sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> he want that sweet <laughs> tea, <laughs> baby. He want that sweet tea, Come baby. Come get a drink, baby. <laughs> sweet Speaking tea. of MMA, fucking Jake Paul. Oh yeah! Sign that de deal with P uh, PFL. That crazy. surprised me. That surprised be crazy, me, bro. I saw him throwing kicks on a bag. It's or big, on a, on big news. Pads. You know, it's not bad for somebody who's never kicked. No, it wasn't. He it's was great. No, he looked good. He's an athlete. I feel like he's earned everyone's respect. It's hard because he has a lisp and an underbite. So does whenever, he? What, yeah. If you hear him promote, I'm over here at the PFL. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna have trouble with the wrestling for sure, dude. Yeah. No, hey, bro. Guess what though? He, he used to wrestle, he, bro. Oh, him and Logan. You didn't know Ohio State. Oh, you're dude, right. Better than his brother. And and they 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 were like Ohio is like what about the, the mecca mecca for wrestling? In, in what about jits though? No jits. Yeah, but he'll he'll be all right. Yeah. The wrestling is gonna go a long way. Well, he wants trust. to you're fight right. Nate Diaz. And I don't think that's what he wants because if he wants to take it to the ground, Nate Diaz will just fuck. Yeah. yeah. Like no jits. Even a little jits, nah, Nate right, Diaz is a not. fucking. You don't want that, right? Right. Yeah. But that's why he wants to do a, a half boxing, half MMA. Fight. That's stupid, though. See, this is the thing too about that kid. I just don't care for these matches. Mm. I want to see him because I think he's good. He I think good. that he can beat a lot of amateur boxers, no problem. Yeah, and he's getting better too. Yeah, and I think he cares. Yeah. So for him, well, I, I guess I, I don't think a lot of people are gonna watch. Even his last boxing match, not a lot of people yeah. watched. Yeah, it kind of bombed, the, right? Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Is Tyron Woodley's the second fight? Nobody fucking watched. Nobody cares. Like the Anderson Silva one, not a lot of people watched that either. Yeah. But I wonder what would change if he were to fight someone who's like his age, his like skill level. Do you think he would get a bump in pay-per-view? Do you think he could attract that? Or do you think he only needs to fight retired MMA guys? He is the only draw. Uh, people who are hardcore MMA fans of Anderson Silva, you think they watched that fight? They did not. Out of defiance. Yeah. Maybe some of them were just like, maybe I want to. I didn't watch it. I didn't care to watch it. Mm. Right? So. I watched that shit. And I'm a, you I'm, you know, yeah, Anderson Silva is my favorite fighter of all time. Heartbroken watching that shit. But I knew he was going to lose because he's fucking ancient as shit. Yeah. Um, And plus, I, I looked at his body. This man didn't take roids. Yeah. How come he didn't just do a little quick, quick. Just a little bit, dog. Just Look a little at Donald bit. Cerrone. You said, well, he's all jacked. Is he? Dude, talking Donald's, about how he did roids. Donald Cerrone's statement is amazing. He goes, I'm on roids now. I understand why people took this stuff. I feel like I'm in my 20s again. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Is he? He's retired though now, yeah? yeah. Retired. So he's, oh, so he's just on roids. Yeah. yeah. He said, fuck it. Yeah, he's like, fuck it. I'm on TRT. That's like yeah. the new popular thing though. It's TRT? Like, the guys hop on TRT. Joe Rogan on TRT. But is that roids? Like, TRT? Yeah. Or is he on like on roids? It's, like it's like a gray area. It's a gray yeah, area. But right? it's it still probably gets the job. When I get older, I'm going to take TRT. TRT. Rogan started yeah. taking TRT at uh, my age. Really? Which is nuts. Really? Yeah, he How started taking 34? 34. How much are you? That's what I said. How much 34. are you? How much are you, bitch? How much are you worth? How much are you? <laughs> I'm uh, 34. 
Damn, at 34? He was 34? He was, he started 34 he was 34. young. Uh, he took he him was really awesome. young. He was on some other shit. Bro. He, was like, he was on the juice. He was on the south. He was on the, the, the Polycosta the Secret Juice. I saw him when he was 34. Jack, amazing. Specimen. That fool was a specimen. He's dude. still yo. He's stacked, bro. You got think, fat tits, And too. you think you're going to beat him in jujits? Joe Rogan? Nah. Damn, he I answered for sure would you, not. dude. Boom. You too? You don't think so? Oh, I think I think you would have a better. I mean, not me. I would get murdered. I'd fucking he's a get thick a boy, dude. He's strong as he's for sure boy. strong as shit. I heard he's he's kind of aggro when he rolls. I, I could I could pretty I'll much fucking, imagine. I'll, I'll grab his ankle though, dude. I'll fucking. Throw <laughs> off but he's for sure old school jujitsu. Nick is good. Though. Yeah, all yeah. old school jujitsu jiu- jiu- from what I heard is like that though, right? Like they're all pretty pretty aggressive. Like they fucking straight up just go at it. Yeah. Like back in the day type of yeah. Know, back in the day, I'm sure they went hard. Fuck around, bro. Oh, do you, what, you be choking people out now? Who, me? Yeah. I'm saying he don't fuck around. I'm not saying me. You I fuck around out? a little bit. Nick gets mad, dude. Nick oh, acts I've, like he doesn't I've get mad. I mean, we've mad. already... We've, we've, he always acts so innocent. Nick gets mad. What are you hey. talking about, dog? It's just it's just turning up the heat. That's all it is. And grappling. Motherfucker, it's, you turn on that broiler, This is Nick right here. <laughs> <laughs> what timer? What timer? Yeah. <laughs> and this is me in the back. What round? Time! Time! And they're like, there's no time? Hey, guys, take it easy. We're going live! We're going live! <laughs> yeah, dude, because you would be accusing me of going hard and shit. Listen, right? my CTE speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> no, you that's that's fake, bro. Hey guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. Man. I'm just yeah, I'm just yeah. Fucking smoking, you know. I just feel praise me to a lot. <laughs> praise me, praise me to a lot. I don't think I know, guys. Dude, fighting is so crazy, bro. You I know what? Hey, look, check shit. this out. Check this out. I this has happened a couple months ago. I was <laughs> driving and I was like, you know what? I was like, I want to, I don't know why it popped in my head. It was fucking Sexy Yama. Remember Sexy Yama? Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Okay. His walkout. Stop I was like, I want to see his walkout, dude. I, I watched this walkout where he's fighting and it's not Pride. I think it's Pride. You sent this to me. Yeah, I sent it to you. It was like Pride. It was some, I was watching like it was in Japan, the, the fight organization. And the production value is amazing. He was There's rising. Like risen. Fire. Yeah, I think it was <laughs> right, Risen or whatever the fuck. Fire. He comes out to that famous opera song, the... Tommy. Oh, Andre Bocelli, dude. Oh, dude. That's his walkout song, right? <laughs> he comes out with a oh, whole school him. of kids and geese. Bro, he comes out. He like he like does this whole thing where he like bows. He gets on his knees and he like does this whole thing. And then at one point he goes, ah, he screams. I watch this thing. I started crying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I swear on my life, dude. Here, I started like, not like hard crying, yeah. but my eyes, like I was got teary. What, what do you think it was that made you cry? Was it the kids? No, it was your father now. No, 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 it, no. That it wasn't that at all. It was what was so sick to me was like that. I started thinking about fighting in general, like how scary it is. Yeah, the and fighting like, spirit, the, bro. And like, dude. What it looked and also how epic it was. It looked like Dragon Ball Z. Like it looked like he was gonna go fight an alien. Yeah, yeah on yeah. behalf of the human yeah, 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 race. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he was dressed up as Goku. He bro. looked like he was going out to fight, there to fight some green motherfucker <laughs> in a ring, dude. It was perfect and form. Just bro. when he yelled like uh, like that emotion, because yeah, like yeah, I yeah, felt yeah, yeah. like I've had like the box match with Chris Sosa and like on nowhere near the level yeah. of that and I felt those emotions so I cannot even imagine yeah, how yeah. intense though and like the fact that like you could die it's not likely that you're gonna die but you could but die definite possibility. you could get some serious like you're putting yourself out there like that I want you to watch things made me cry <laughs> of Shinya Aoki when he lost to the Nurma Gamedov. And they recorded him backstage. Oh, bro. And he starts bawling. Oh, that shit and was he heartbreaking. he said one line. He goes, I don't even know why I'm doing this anymore. Oh. And that shit broke my fucking heart. Oh. But at the same time, you're 40 years old and you're a legend. Like in my mind. You need to do this. He's like, you don't need to do this anymore. Yeah. But, um, it, but, it's, but it's that shit, right? It's like, it's that human nature shit where it's like, especially in fighters, it's like, they want to see, they always want to test themselves. And they get so accustomed to doing it their whole life because they have to. Like, especially when you have 40 fucking fights under your belt. He got choked out by Mikey Musumuchi. Musumuchi, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Bouge Mouge. The Italian boy. Mikey yeah, Bouge he got Mouge. choked the out fucking, by this young pizza chef. <laughs> Some guy who does pizza. jiu-jitsu on the side. But <laughs> that fool too. It's funny because when he was talking on Joe Rogan, you could tell he's a little different. You oh, know? bro. He's, he's got a touch of the tism. Yeah, yeah, he definitely got something. And then he's, he's, ta- the he's talking about how he's fluent in Portuguese. And I was like, dope. So I looked up a video of him speaking Portuguese. You are not fluent. <laughs> You are not. Why, why are you doing like that, whatsoever, You don't dude. think he speaks Portuguese? He does, Portuguese. but like, so I asked. Um, he still sounds Italian. So I asked it? a couple, like one person I know that speaks Portuguese, right? And it's a white girl that learned how to speak Portuguese, yeah. and uh, she did. She was doing the uh, Peace Corps stuff, mm-hmm. and so I Mackenzie asked. Dern. I sent her the video. I was like, "How good is this Portuguese?" She goes, 
he sounds freaking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> her words, not my words. That's what she said. Her yeah, words, yeah, yeah. her words. And I was <laughs> cracking up. I'm like, what? Well, don't worry about the accent, but is he fluent? She goes, no, he's not fluent. Uh, like he's not fluent at all. But when he was talking on the Rogan podcast, he was talking like, he's out here like, but apparently Damn. like his Portuguese is really not that good. He but, a phenom though. But he can get by with it. Yeah. You know? Mm. So, That's funny he said he's fluent. Yeah, he said he was- And David won't call him out on his receipts. Bro. I also call him out for a jujitsu match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would yeah. snap my knees so fast. Dude, he's such a fucking beast, bro. He's Hard so to deal good. with. Oh, he's dude. so calm too. He, That's the thing for fighters. If you're calm, you're like scared. that was an Anderson, an Anderson Silva thing. Like he could enter the flow state real quick. Like that calmness is just- that's Anderson Silva is a, is a classic example of just his age caught up to him. Yeah. Because what made him great was his reaction time and mm -hmm. his counters. Just that one millisecond off and he's getting caught. Yeah. So it's just him moving back perfect, but not fast enough. Not fast yep. enough. And it just gets clipped. Yeah. Time, man. Yeah, it's his bro. age. That's all that it is. Just take some steroids, take please. Take them roids, baby. Take have. them roids. I wish he would have just gone on a quick regimen and then people would have been like, you never get to fight again. I don't care. I got to see old Anderson again. Dude, yeah. Jake Paul should fight fucking Vitor Belfort, bro. Yeah, he's on all uh, the juice. He on all the steroids. Yeah. Bro. And he's good on the roids, baby. Oh, he's, he's monstrous. He on might the be the best on the roids. Uh, he might be the best on the roids. <laughs> he's the alien that fucking yeah. sexy he's, Yama was gonna fight for the world. He's dude. Cell, bro. Dude, he's if you cell, guys dude, ever cell, <laughs> final form, dog. <laughs> that's final form cell. Did you see Evander Holyfield and Vitor Belfold box? Oh no, I didn't want I saw oh, that. Oh, I heard it. yeah, I did that see that sad. shit. Dog, that shit broke my heart, man. That's he beat sad. the shit out of Evander. Evander Holyfield fights like he looks like old like young Evander Holyfield physically yeah but he moves like he's 90. Oh, yeah man. he's so old man he definitely has CTE he has something with him but something's off because yeah. he's so slow We're talking bro these poor fighters are getting exploited out here man and also that's I think that's the thing I don't like it's why beat up our legends oh like let them live as legends they are fucking at the tail end of their fucking life because you know what yeah. it is unfortunately in the fight game the legends have the name recognition and that becomes fucking like it just becomes a jumping off point for younger fighters, right? Yeah. Like anybody that wants to make a name. Like because Vitor Belfort, no matter what, nobody could take that away from him. No matter what, with all the asterisks that are next to that victory, he can always tell people, yeah, I knocked out Vander Holyfield. <laughs> yeah. At the senior yeah. citizen home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In a hey, boxing match. But like, Tyson looked good though when yeah. he fought Roy, uh, but I Roy think Jones. Tyson might be doing a little bit of the Oh, cool. He might be, yeah. He might yeah. be on the but it looks good. Like, oh. I don't mind it. I yeah. love it. I, I want to love it. It looked good. You don't I, think I'll come here and just be ethereal? You don't think I'll fucking be here lighting the leather? I sting like a hornet, a Japanese hornet, because that's so much dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Why did anyone ask me if I'm hurt when I got hit in the face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's sad. It's the, that's the, he, I was like, he's actually, his feelings are hurt. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, How come nobody cares about me? <laughs> I'm an animal, but I have a heart. <laughs> So Wait, that's beat. really good. Thank you. I listen to a lot of Mike Tyson. Yeah, for real. I like. I love listening to Tyson get mad at people in interviews when they oh, think yeah. it's a joke, but who's, he doesn't. Who's know. He and it happens at, out of nowhere too. It happens. It's uh, just like Vlad TV whoa. interview. Vlad TV, the the blonde dude. Yeah, the prank guy, guy. No, Vlad TV is the uh, he does. He's the dweeb who does the uh, hip hop interviews. Oh, I don't think I've seen him. Yeah, he'll have Aries oh, Spears on or whatever, whatnot. But he's annoying. But he gets a lot of great guests. So Mike Tyson was on. He goes, hey, so you like, he goes, this is his voice, by the way. Exactly. So you like being around, uh, he sounds like George uh, from Tiger Belly. <clears throat> he goes, so you Big like being George. around a lot of dangerous people, huh? Uh, you like surrounding yourself around danger. And then Mike Tyson goes, what do you mean? That's a bad question. So it, you think I like being around precarious people? <laughs> precarious <laughs> people? You think I like being around people who have just questionable backgrounds? Is that what you're saying about me, huh? And then he's just sitting there just stuttering. No, what I'm saying is like, I, I think that, uh, you know, you, you're the people that you uh, choose to be around are just a little dangerous. So you think I'm in poor life choices, huh? <laughs> and then he's getting pissed. Whoa. He's digging himself in a hole. This fucking I, And I, I get scared through the screen. Yeah. And he's not going to hurt me. Like when when um, Joe Rogan was laughing at something Mike Tyson said. Oh, yeah. And it's cracking up. That. He goes, I'm serious. I'm yeah. not making a joke. Yeah. And then Joe Rogan, yeah, I understand what you're saying. 
<laughs> he's just, yeah, he's probably so baked too. Oh <laughs> he goes, I, I get it. I get it. Yep. Yep. I understand. He stopped laughing immediately. Dude, if you were high and you're talking to Tyson and he got mad at you, oh, bro. oh that's got to be the worst. Did you see the, the Habib world. interview with Mike Tyson? I saw clips of it. Yeah, because it was kind of awkward because uh, they asked him, like, who's your favorite boxer of all time? And he looks at Mike Tyson. And he goes, like, no offense, Mike, but like Muhammad Ali is my favorite. And he kind of like, in his, like, because the Dagestanis are so matter of fact of how they speak. He kind of like dunks on Mike Tyson a little bit and saying like, yeah, like kind of breaks him down. Like, oh, you weren't really the most technical. I don't really like your style, but like, I like you're great. But like Muhammad Ali is my favorite. And it was like, you kind of feel awkward a little bit. But then also Mike Tyson was so fucking baked. That he didn't even know what planet he was. Like <laughs> he couldn't even do the interview, bro. Henry yeah. Cejudo That's was there. That's crazy, Mister Unicorn. That's <laughs> 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 crazy. <laughs> I don't care what anybody. You can never look at Mike Tyson and say he wasn't technical. He his, was so technical. His wow. technique is uh, and amazing. Like him. And his footwork was amazing. His footwork, his footwork position was, amazing. was crazy. He was constantly like, if you're here, he was always like this around. And here. he made his build work right mm -hmm. for for that division. He was a heavyweight. He's six foot one. Yeah, bro. No, he was very technical. It was crazy too because when I was thinking about how he's doing, it's like, oh, people could probably you know keep the distance and you know frame off him a little bit his footwork was too ahead of you mm -hmm. like in this earlier stage before, yeah. you know, he yeah. started going through his problems. For sure, for but sure. But people were constantly, you know, long guard, trying to frame him off. And, and the next thing you know, bink, 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 bink. His fucking jab spiraled upwards. You couldn't see it. It coming. was such a weird style. He was like with. constantly moving to get in on you. And then like, there's even clips of him like where he's weaving and he's literally like almost, his chin is almost touching the floor. Yeah. yeah. The guy's yeah. swinging at him. He's like literally almost laying down on the, on the canvas. Dodging punches comes up and then it cracks the dude oh. like crazy. You know, and I, I kind of realized how, well, I mean, obviously you could see him and realize how athletic he is, but um, I saw a couple of clips of his tutorials and I was trying to do what he does. Just something simple, right? Just throwing a, a straight jab, leaning off and then corkscrewing another jab up is hard. It's exhausting. Especially with the speed that he does it Exactly. At. My yeah. shit was slow as shit. It's pop, pop. Yeah. Like there's no way you could execute that if you're slow. Yeah. You have to be fast. And so like when I when I saw him do that, and he's doing it multiple times. That's like his shit. And he corkscrews up mm -hmm. and then he'll dip, he'll reposition himself, throw the up lead uppercut, wrap it back with oh, the yeah. foot. But so it's like good. he's just doing that with, with his lead. Like, how do you do that shit? Such a beast. Fuck. You I wish you two could do that to each other right now. <laughs> see it. Nah, dude, I'm done fucking boxing, bro. I love no, watching you two fight. It's it's fucking two brothers. Just <laughs> two brothers <laughs> letting out their love and their anger. You know what I mean? I fucking love you. I love you too. Well, guess what? You're not going to have teeth tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I like this guy. I like this yeah, Don dude. King David. Uh, dude, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, I love you two boss, fighting. It's, the it's promoter. Like, that's why I always fucking go, hey, Nick and Pat next. <laughs> yeah, dude, you fucking get off on it. I love it. Dude. I like. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. like sparring you though. I do like sparring you too because it's fun. It's that's fun. why I like going like long rounds because it's just fun. It is like, fun. And there's different like beats in the sparring round. I love it. You're hard to hit. Your head movement You're is really good. Too, bro. You hard to hit too, bitch. How about that? <laughs> yeah, there All we right? go. Damn. I fuck you, dog. Damn. It's, it's the most entertaining <laughs> thing for me. It makes me really happy, guys. <laughs> it's like I get to watch the street fights in person. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're like Jester. You're like King. You're like, you two fight. You yeah. and you. You, you and fight. You. Who's next? Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to box Alex for 10 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> that is, well, that's that's a scary 10 seconds, though, boys. Oh, yes, it it's is. A, it's a hurricane for Dude, 10 if seconds. if Alex ever got his cardio up, he'd be a fucking world beater, bro. Yeah. He just feels different. He hits hard, dude. He's and, strong as and shit. he's so hard. kind. It's like fighting a car, dude. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, you feel like the E Honda and the Street Fighter. Where yeah, you dude, I'm not car. doing any damage. You, you yeah, doing any damage. Hey, you tell me right now, you don't spray that full green. He is like Blanca from yeah. fucking Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like green. Blanca, he is Blanca. Just buff in a square. Yeah, dude. Or he's like Zangief, but way shorter. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Zangief, Short even Zangief. better. Yeah. No beard. He's, he's strong as shit. shit. It's so funny, too, because we you know, we'll work out chest. together at, um, at the gym. Yeah, at Foot Hill. And then we're, we're doing weights and shit. And he forgets that, you know, I'm a human. Nah, he knows. He likes to make people feel bad when he works out. He's always throwing in my face like, oh, you're only doing one plate? That's crazy. Like, I'm going to do seven. <laughs> we were doing... Uh, like, fuck you, Alex. You piece we were, of shit. We were doing uh, lat pull downs with the straight bar standing. Yeah. And then this will... You know, he's pulling it Full like it's sack. nothing. And I wasn't paying attention to the weight. Yeah. Tell me why I pulled that shit and that motherfucker carried me up. Like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. 
I'm like, Alex, I'm a person, dude. I can't do this. Yeah, dude. That's a hard workout too. That's yeah. like, you can't go, like for me either, like it's hard to go heavy on that one, like where you go straight down like that. Oh yeah, yeah that's a bitch. Arm. When he does it, it looks like there's no weights on it. You see how big his fucking lats are? He's big. He's so strong. Big boy. Fucking bitch. He's like the thing. He's <laughs> a fantastic <laughs> four, dude. He's the thing. He is the thing. Just with better skin. Mm. Show nice. me your thing. <laughs> Well, this wraps up this episode of the Genius Brain Podcast, everybody. Every Sundays at 12 p.m. You can find Nick, the ear, N-T-E strong, babe. N-T-E-Train.com. Get some coaching, y'all. Yeah, get get that workout. And then we have Pat Tissimo at (laughs) Patrick.T.Riley. Check him out on his Instagram. Just fucking being a poor, poor father. (laughs) (laughs) Just snapping all the time, My favorite story of his, sweetie, you hungry? Starve. And he walks out. My favorite. (laughs) Sundays at 12 p.m. We'll see you next time. Peace.